Hey guys, today we're doing a tutorial on the Halo Wars 2 Wolverine. Uh, so the materials you're going to need for this are not limited to uh, an anvil, or a couple actually, stone brick slabs, uh, stone slabs, stone brick stairs, sand stained clay, blue carpet, blue wall, uh, light blue stained glass pane, and packed ice. Uh, you can also exchange those uh, last two materials for anything you want, like maybe blue stained glass or green if you wanted to. You can do the same with the, the carpet and the wall. Um, yeah, cool. Anyway, let's get started. So, uh, hang on, actually, I need to do this in the middle. Uh, so, using the podium, as usual with these Halo Wars 2 builds. Uh, so, if you're not using this, you're going to have a pretty hard time. There we go. Right. So, uh, starting off. You're going to come to the very front of the podium. I'm not going to bother explaining the dimensions of the pro uh, podium because I've done that in every single previous video for like the past few months. Uh, and if you don't know it by now, then what are you doing with your life? <laughs> You're going to build two slabs at the front, uh, just like hovering in the air, and then space of three, and do the same again on this side. Uh, so you get kind of that shape, basically. <laughs> Um, and then gonna do five, 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 five. So four rows of five, and then one, two rows of three. Actually, no, it's many rows of three. <laughs> so yeah, it starts with two rows of three, then it goes outwards again. But it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Seven rows of three, basically. Anyway, and then because I obviously mentioned these two rows of three first, you're going to go onto the third one. Sorry, the third one. <laughs> then do an upside down stair on both sides. And then stone brick slab. You know, what, I'm going to do it on one side first. Then a skip. Then another stone brick slab. Skip. And then an upside down stair facing towards the back. Then you're gonna get your anvils, and you're gonna do one there, one there. That is very loud, by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, same on your same on the other side. Just like that. So those are the um, the treads, I guess. Or actually just part of them because they're too wide. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing. Um I'm trying to cover up my mistake, but I'm not doing it very well. <laughs> uh, wrong way. Just like that. Uh, you won't see the inside um, tread really, so it doesn't matter which way you turn the handles. Uh, I just turn them that way because it kind of joins up the, uh, the things better. So yeah, just like that. So you end up with two rows of, of that. Cool. And then at the front, uh, just past these two kind of floaty ones, you're going to do upside down there, upside down there. Same again on the other side, just like that. And the wheels are only one wide, um, rather than the treads, which are two, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, cool. All right, you're gonna take your sandstone clay, and you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, and then. On this front one, you're going to do an upside down stone stair, face it towards the front. Then one, two, three. Just kind of cap that off, basically. Oh, you want to knock out that one and that one. But stair there, stair there. Sorry about that. Then you're going to take your same stain clay again. Then do five. It should kind of hover over that um, that cap there. Oh, sorry, my voice went for me. <laughs> Uh, and then you're gonna do three, and then you're gonna do seven here, uh, like that, and then three, and all the way across, I think, actually, to there. But leave the end one off, and then do a stone brick stair, like that. Um, there is a kind of hole in the middle of this one, but you can just fill that in, unless you're planning on putting a uh, cockpit in there. I'm not because you can't see through the cockpit and it's too small to see anyone, so I didn't really bother with that. Um, 
useful. You can make modifications if you want to. Anyway, and then at the back here you're going to do two stairs and then two upside down ones. Then you're going to do two sets of four slabs there, there like that. So this is stone slabs rather than stone bricks. Oops. So I'm doing it a different order now, but it's the same principles. Just like that. So you should end up with that. And then upside down stairs there and there. Just like that. And then two sets of stone brick slabs like that. So you should end up with that. And now I do stone brick stairs facing you know, like that, so it rounds off the front wheel. Um, and then at the front, we're going to need uh, cobblestone walls. We're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then there were stone brick stairs there and there. Okay, and then now we're on layer three. Uh, okay. So you're going to do one, two, and then one there with your carpet. Do one there, like that. Then a slab there, slab there. And you can do three slabs, three slabs, and then three wall, three wall again. Sign stain clay there, and two stain slabs. Then you're going to do five um, blue wall. And it's up to you now whether you fill this in entire, uh, entirely with blue or if you want to do this line of cyan. I'm going to do it because I'm kind of sticking to my you know, original design. But you want to do one, two, three, four, wait, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and then leave one gap at the end basically. And then one material you're going to need is this yellow stained clay and this should stay consistent with whatever colour you're using um, it's representing this kind of gas canister thing on the back so it, it no normally would stay the same if you want to change that to like red or something that's, that's cool I guess um, anyway and then fill the rest in with whatever you could also leave it open if you wanted to but I don't see why you'd, you'd bother with that uh, anyway, here you want to do another blue and another blue there. Then a stone slab on each side. And you're going to do slab, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs, and then three at the back. Repeat that pattern. Two, 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 like, oh sorry, three like that. And one there, one there. Uh, just kind of round that off. And that hit. Oh no, wait, you've got another thing in your carpet. Then here, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five with your carpet. Skip that cyan stain clay. That one remains exposed. <laughs> and then on the back here, now on layer four, you're going to do a stone slab on top of that um, gas canister thing, I guess. And then here, you're going to do one and one facing towards each other. Uh, make sure to leave the gap there. And then you're going to do another one like that, and then you sign stain clay. You can get rid of this cobblestone wall for now. Um, and then take these two things. And then you're going to do your packed ice or whatever material you're using. And then do your two uh, other colour of thingy. <laughs> get rid of those now. Okay, so there is a, a bit of um, like non symmetry here. Uh, sorry, asymmetry, I guess. You need to put a slab there. I'll get rid of the, the symmetrical stuff for now, and then I'll just do the uh, additional bits afterwards, I guess. Yeah, so that seems to be everything. Okay. Two slabs there, like that. Okay, now you're going to need um, two anvils. You're going to put one there, and then one there, kind of floating. And then... You're going to take an end rod, and just stick that on the end. Like that. Okay. And there's also going to be uh, some levers under here, but that can't be put on this layer, so it's going to have to be put on the next layer. 
So I can't actually see what's on this layer because these things are in the way. In fact, I'm going to move these. Bear with me. Okay, that, that's a bit better. Okay, so you're going to put a blue carpet on top of there, like that. And then you're going to take two sand stain clay, stone bricks dead space downwards, just like that. And then a slab there like that, slab there like that. And then, how big is this gap? Okay, it's just one. Uh, I'm going to do a gap like that. And then come forward four, just like that. Is there carpet on top? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you're also going to need, now, a uh, block of quartz, iron trap doors, and levers in a minute, but we'll get those, like I said, in a minute. So you're going to put the quartz there, and then your trap door, just like that. Uh, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Uh, yeah, like that, and then, oh, we also need leather. So, what can I get rid of? I can get rid of an anvil now. Grab that, and just plonk that under there, and under there. Flick those towards the back, so that the trap doors come down. And that's that for that layer, I think. So, moving on to the next layer. Gonna do one there like that, one there like that, one there, one there, and then Two little slabs there like that. Then you do one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you get your carpet. Do four on top of there like that. Four on top of there like that. Also on top of the uh, top one. That's technically rising up to the next layer, but you know, I don't, it doesn't matter. Then do another thing here trapdoors. And then just repeat what we did before, basically. Just like that. Right, so, uh, I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Sorry, I've not been uploading that much. I've just uploaded the uh, the wasp tutorial, so that's pretty cool. Uh, on a side note uh, about the wasp, by the way, I just want to quickly jump into that world. Um, because I want to make a quick amendment to this build. Uh, let me switch into my resource pack. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like without the resource pack. It's pretty funny. Uh, cool. As you can see, all my resource packs are out of date. But that's fine. They work anyway. Um, I made a slight change to the build just after recording because I realized the tail section was a bit too large. Uh, I only had one reference image to work on, and because I didn't, I didn't go into the game to to check it out, which I should have done. Um, but even for such a small scale, it was still kind of funky looking. So what it was before, I believe, was something like, uh, like that. Uh, you know, some, something like that. In fact, I think it was that exactly. So, uh, this is the new design, basically. Uh, let me just start from scratch put one there and one there two there like that and then two there like that and then one there and that's that's a better design basically and I think that looks better uh, it spreads the tail out from the from the wings more so yeah uh, that's it and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video goodbye